So as you can see, I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle cards. And I'm going to start with this card in the middle and see what this card is that came out for you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started, Libras. Single females. Oh, wedding. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Wow. So this card fell out for you, Libras. It's, it's, uh, it could be uh, recommending that an up upcoming wedding for your own self or for someone else. It, can, it comes to um, you because marriage plays a role in the answers of your questions. So, Libra. Single females, if you want to get married, this is the answer. If you've been praying to get married, if you've been praying for the right partner so that you can get married, or you have someone that you're dealing with and you're already dating someone, and you really want to take your relationship up to a higher level, and y'all want to get engaged and get married, this is the answer. This card fell out for you because this is the answer about your question is about marriage. For some people, this card could be uh, that you will get married. So ask, I'm, I'm asking you to keep faith and continue to enjoy your life without worrying about your future. Your future, um, your future life. For others, it's singles, um, you, th that you're, you might, um, um, or an other an upcoming wedding. You might just be going to somebody's wedding. So you might be going to somebody um, to somebody wedding and celebrating their wedding. And and you may meet someone there. So if you go into for some of y'all, if y'all going to a wedding to celebrate somebody else connection and get married. You might meet someone there and have a connection with someone. So I want you guys to hold on to faith about your future and don't worry about your future state. And know if you're praying to get married, if you're praying for the right person for you, the right person that he has for you, that means God, who God has for you. And you really want to get married is telling you this is why this card came out is that your answer about getting married the question is yes if your partner has to come in know that your partner will come in i can't tell y'all when it's gonna happen um i don't know that only god knows that so just keep holding on to faith that's why he's saying keep holding on to faith uh, um you know because it's gonna have to be on his time to sing your partner so that y'all can get married it's up to god's time not to Minds or yours or the, your partner when this person shows up and y'all you know can, um this would be your your true part partner so what god wants you to do is to continue to enjoy your life without worry about your future state about getting married just keep holding on to faith don't wave in your faith know that keep praying and hold it on to the faith without where, with, um, without waving your faith. You you will get the answer about this marriage if you really want to get married. And it, it sometimes this can mean that there will be a leap of new romantic romance for you. So know that. And it represents your partner. So if that's what I was saying. If some of y'all have a partner, know that it represents your partner and you. And y'all are going to get married. A marriage in the way it affects your feelings and benefit about your relationship. So y'all could be going to a counselor talking about you know, y'all really want this connection. Y'all really want to get married. So it's good to talk to a counselor to make sure that y'all are on the same line. That y'all um, get the same values. Hold, you know what I'm saying? So when y'all get, get, you want to make sure that you, you and your partner have the same values. And equal oak. And 
and so that y'all can uh, align with this connection and get married. And it's going to benefit your feelings and your, your relationship. So, yeah, yeah make sure y'all do that. And hold on to faith. Hold on to faith with your partner if you're dealing with someone. God really wants you to hold on to the faith with your partner. Someone you may be dating. Someone you may have already been dealing with. Or you may even be in a relationship. Or, you know, y'all still have this connection with this person. I know this is a single reading. So... For some of y'all, y'all are still holding on to someone. But what God wants you to do is to hold on to faith and know that this situation can change. And it can go up to a higher level where y'all can get married. And it's going to really benefit your relationship. So this is why he wants you to hold on to faith with this, with this person. Someone that you're dealing with. Don't give up. Place it in God's hand and let it fall out on God's time, not yours. Give him the authority of your relationship. Okay, so uh, it, so for some of you Libras, it wants you to look at the past marriage and review your feelings with your intuition and heal your heart in your relationship. So for some of y'all, that's what that means. Look at a past marriage that you were in. And maybe, you know, that's why I say a past relationship. That means y'all not in this relationship anymore. So review your feelings and your and with your intuition and heal your heart in your relationship. So maybe um like like I was saying, like some of y'all still hold on to y'all partner. Maybe y'all didn't get a divorce and y'all may be just dealing with a separation. Because y'all wasn't getting along for whatever reason. Uh, just review your feelings. With your intuition. And heal your heart. And perhaps it's time to. Uh, consider. To let someone help you. Help both of y'all. Sort out how y'all feel. This is why I was saying y'all really need to talk to a counselor before y'all get married. To make sure that y'all on the same level. To make sure that everything is aligned. Before y'all get married. Y'all want to make sure y'all equally yoked. And y'all share the same values. Y'all value the same things. So talk about. Go talk to somebody. Get some help to sort out y'all feelings. Before y'all jump into this marriage. If some of y'all in a marriage. Y'all may need to go talk to a counselor. To discuss y'all feelings so that y'all can get back on the same page. Get back in line with each other. Oh, for some of y'all, yes, y'all really need to look at the past marriage that you was in. Go talk to a counselor. Go get some, seek some help. So that you can heal yourself. And, and with your intuition to see what feelings you're holding on to about you know that past marriage so that you can release that and heal your heart so that a new person will be able to come into you so the angel god's angels is here to support you and going to support everyone involved and especially if you if you come to understand about the experience and renew your heart to love. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Romantic feelings. You and this individual have great romantic feelings. This is why I was saying. For, okay, so what I was saying. Did y'all understand what I was saying? Like, But some of y'all, y'all already got a partner. Don't give up on your partner. Don't try to control the situation with your partner. Let it unfold naturally. Give it the authority of your relationship over to God. What y'all want to do is go talk to a counselor before y'all jump into this marriage to make sure that every y'all on the same page and everything is aligned and y'all share the same values and y'all equally yoked. 
know that your romantic feelings, y'all got strong romantic feelings for each other. And you really have romantic strong feelings inside of you, Libra. And you want this romantic connection. And this is why it's telling you. Your, your feelings are worth exploring. So he wants you to hold on to faith. Don't waver in your faith. Give it over to God. Know that if you're praying for this marriage. And this true connection. If you're praying to reconcile with your partner. That you may be separated from. Your, your husband. That you may be separated from. Y'all may be dealing with a separation. Y'all still got romantic feelings. You got to let your partner know how you feel so trust your intuition before you um let you know so that you can really understand how you feel so you can have the true understanding of how you feel and then you can have a conversation with your partner and y'all can probably um fix this relationship because your feelings are worth exploring so you are still holding on to your feelings and you still have romantic feelings for this person for one, the ones who are dealing with the separation, but the ones who are just, you know, already with someone, you just, you know, met someone already. Y'all relationship is going to extend to a higher level. Y'all going to get into this marriage. Y'all both probably want marriage, or you, Libras, yourself wants to get married. And it's saying your feelings are worth exploring. What you really want to do is share your true feelings to your partner. Don't be afraid to tell him how you truly feel. If you really want this relationship, you don't want to stay in a this connection if y'all not going to get married. You want to talk about getting married, taking this relationship up to a true connection. Like you want to get married. You probably feeling that way. Know that that feeling is worth exploring. If you're feeling like you want to get married, then you need to discuss it. So it may be a little uncomfortable for you to discuss how you really truly feel. But know that your feelings are worth exploring and you don't be afraid. And don't. that's why I'm saying don't be afraid and don't let worry stop you um, from expressing how you truly feel. Y'all both can go talk to a counselor to get some guidance. To make sure that y'all in this real connection together. To make sure that y'all truly in line with each other. To make sure that y'all equally yoke. And that y'all share the same values and morals. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I cannot make this up. Y'all love life is influenced by that. Yeah, see, this is why I was saying, Libras, if you want to get married, this is how you feeling romantically. Explore your romantic feelings about marriage, and you want to sh you want to uh, share this with your partner. Don't be afraid. It may be uncomfortable. You may feel a little uncomfortable about sharing. How you want to get married. You don't just want to be in a relationship. You don't want to just be boyfriend and girlfriend. And play house. No you want to be married. You want a real connection. You want someone you can build with. Grow with. Grow old with. Leave a legacy with. Create with. So. Your relationship may be. Um, influenced by a reli uh, religious factor. So if y'all dealing with a separation. And some stagnation in your relationship or your connection. No, it's because it's based on your religious factors. Because you value marriage. Which is really good, Libras. You value a true connection. You want a spiritual connection. You want this connection to last for the remainder of your life. You don't want to keep giving yourself to someone that you can't get married to. You want to get married. You don't want to keep um, playing them little silly games like jumping to this person and jumping into that person and jumping into that person. No, you want a real true connection. You want, you're ready to settle down. You're ready to get married. You're ready to be done playing the field. You want this true connection. You want it to be built on something spiritual. 
something that cannot be broken. You want a spiritual bond with this person and it can't be broken by anyone. So you value marriage. Yes, y'all have romantic feelings for this person. You love this person. You care for this person. But you're saying, I want to get married. I don't want to just be someone you can sleep with. But some of y'all, y'all don't want to just be someone um, saying like, okay, you can just sleep with me. No, you want to get married first before y'all give yourself to this person. So maybe that is the factor that is influencing the relationship, your connection. Maybe that's what's influencing it because you don't want to uh, be intimate and have sex with someone you want to get married first and there's nothing listen let me tell you something there's nothing wrong with that that's showing that you truly value yourself and honor yourself and love yourself and respect yourself so don't let nobody make you feel ashamed because you don't want to oof, oh hold my tongue lord lay down and spread that you you don't want to lay down and spread your legs you want you want to get married first before you give yourself to someone in that way. Because you believe in marriage. You honor it. You value it. You value yourself and honor yourself. So you, you honor and value the rule of how God says we need to get married before we give ourselves to someone. So if that's you, Libras, and you you say, I don't want to give myself to you. I want us to get married. I'm not willing to just be someone you can sleep with. Someone you can just date. Someone who's just going to be your girlfriend. Someone you can just play house with. Woof. You saying, no, I want the real deal. A marriage. Someone I can grow old with. Share the remainder of my life with. A real spiritual connection and bond that can't be broken. I want it. I want it to be connected by, with God. I want God's hands to be on this situation, in this connection. Because if it's if God's hands is on it, it can't be broken. If it's a true bond, if this is your true equal person, mm -hmm. if y'all truly equally yoke, this is what you want to know. Are we truly equally yoked? I want to get married. I don't want to be just someone you can sleep with. Play house with. Date. No. You want a true connection. A true spiritual connection. It's, let me tell you something. There's nothing wrong with you wanting that. There's nothing wrong with you saving yourself for marriage. I, I honor that. I love that. I'm here to support you to continue to do that and hold on. That's why I was telling you to hold on to the faith. Don't worry about it. Let God handle it. Give your relationship to God. If this is the person that is meant for you, don't you know he's going to be there regardless? Oof. So it may be a little uncomfortable for you to let this person know that you're probably a little fearful about telling him that you're not willing to have sex without being married you want to wait until you get married before you give yourself to someone so i can understand that that may be a little uncomfortable for you to discuss with that person because the way that the world is set up today and how people are doing things they they want to put sex above everything else i know it can be a little uncomfortable to express that because you feel like that person will walk away and leave you but let me tell you something if that person walked away and leave you because you don't want to lay down and spread it wide let them leave. Continue to value yourself and honor yourself and value marriage. And value wanting to wait to get married before you give yourself to someone. You ain't got to concern yourself. If that person can't wait on you or can't truly connect to you, you can't honor that, that ain't the right person for you. So this is why you really got to share your feelings. You really want to let this person know that I know it can be a little uncomfortable, but at least you will know. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So maybe y'all need to go on a vacation. Spend some time together. 
just because y'all go in the, on a vacation don't mean y'all go and up sleep together y'all can just go on a vacation and spend some time alone together so y'all can you know hold on to your connection and build your connection up to a higher level so that you can talk and y'all can share your um your feelings and you can explore your emotions and your feelings with the, your your partner y'all may want to go on a vacation go on a trip you know go out of town go get a room and spend some time alone separate from everyone else and um you know make sure y'all have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and, and really be honest and true how you feel um libras because your feelings are worth exploring so you you value marriage you value something real you honor marriage you honor and, and honor yourself and you don't want to just give yourself to this person so yeah you know you can go out and still have a great time with them have some romantic uh go on a romantic vacation and maybe they if you go on this romantic vacation they may propose they may go ahead and propose and, and want to get married so it's telling you to really enjoy the bliss of holiday time together you and your partner he may take you on a romantic trip and want to propose to you so don't worry and don't let fear stop you hold on to your faith hold on to your true belief of how you feel about if you you know uh, how you feel about um, marriage and not wanting to give yourself to someone until you get married but go out and enjoy yourself with this person spend some time alone go on this holiday this vacation this romantic see how romantic it looks go on this romantic vacation he may propose to you see he may want to get married he, he probably feel the same way if you discuss that with him yeah he's gonna say I'm, a, I'm gonna end up proposing he gonna propose he'll probably propose to you on this vacation oh god what is this unrequired love there is not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going oh my gosh what is this oh libras maybe this person oh gosh i hate to say this maybe this person isn't feeling the same way Maybe they trying to pressure you to have sex before y'all get married. Maybe, and that's why you like, I'm not going to give myself to you without being married. I'm not going to give myself to you if you're not willing to truly connect yourself to me. So for some of you Libras, I hate to say this, I'm very sorry. It's unrequired love. There's not enough attraction and chemistry to keep this relationship going. So you're going to probably have to um, walk away from this individual. See, and this is what it was saying. That you need to um, trust your intuition. Especially about... Um, if this person is saying like they're not willing to wait for marriage. Oh God, I hate this. If they saying that they're not willing to wait to marriage to be with you. I'm sorry, Libras. You need to walk away. Don't don't give up on what you believe in. Your beliefs. If you believe on waiting to get married before you give yourself to someone, don't give up on that. It's going to, you know, if, if this person wants to walk away and they can't honor and value that, then that, that can't be the right person for you. Y'all not equally yoked. Y'all don't share the same values and morals. See, this is what I was saying. Y'all need to go and make sure y'all talk to a counselor. Uh, and make sure y'all really express truly how y'all feel. Your true romantic feelings. So that, you know, you don't want to um, play no games and leave nobody on or you know string along this 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 situation like go ahead and share how you you truly feel so that this person will know if y'all not on the same page about marriage like you may want to wait until you get married before you give yourself to this person 
And it's not, like I said, it's nothing wrong with that, Libras. Honor that. I honor that with you. No, you're not the only one out here standing alone like that. I honor that with you. And it's nothing wrong with you waiting to marriage. I don't care what the rest of the society is doing. If you want to wait until marriage before you give yourself to this person, this person, they they not willing to wait until you get married. That's why it's unrequired love. It's not enough chemistry to keep this connection together. I'm sorry for some of y'all. It's not enough attraction. So if he wants to take you on a vacation. Oh, why does this? Why did that have to come out? If he wants to take you on this vacation and take you on a vacation, you could tell him you want separate rooms. So he won't be thinking like, yeah, okay, we're going to get the same room and she's going to sleep with me. No. You don't want to um, be in your values, break your rules and your values for yourself, for your highest good. And no one... Waiting on to have sex before you get married is the highest good for you. Uh, so for some of you Libras, this person is not willing to wait to get married, to, to be with you, to have this connection. They probably just want to get busy. See that? They probably just want to get busy, but you want to wait until you get married. That's what I'm feeling for some of y'all. Not all of you, but some of you Libras. He's ready to, you know, you know, men kind of weak in that area. And I don't care what nobody say, they more weaker than women are. And, you know, they just jump into sex. And you, you want to wait. You want to wait until you get married because you value marriage. You honor that rule that God has set for us, for all of us, for everyone. And you value that. So it doesn't matter even if you, you slept with someone be before. You saying, no, I'm I want to wait this time. You entitled to do that. You entitled to wait until you get married. Cause you don't want to just give yourself to somebody and then it ain't going to be a true connection. Then you got to turn around and give yourself to somebody else. I mean, God, aren't people tired of that? Woof. Jesus, that's sickening. Like you got to keep giving yourself to someone. Then that don't work out. Then you got to turn around and give yourself to somebody else. And then that don't work out. Give yourself to some. I mean, come on, come on enough, enough. You want marriage. And I agree with that. I want marriage too. That's why I ain't giving myself to nobody. I want marriage. So if they can't honor that, listen, you have to let them go. It's unrequired love. They don't share that same value. That's why I say y'all want to make sure y'all equally yoke. Y'all really want to go talk to a counselor. Get some help in this situation to make sure that y'all in line with each other. Y'all mm -hmm. values are the same. Y'all morals are the same. Because if not, if the connection, you want to make, listen, if y'all values is not in line, they're going to try to force their values on you or you're going to try to force their values on them. Like, and it's going to cause conflict in a relationship. This is why y'all want to make sure y'all values are the same. So if they don't value waiting on marriage to give themselves to someone, and that's what you value. That's where that unrequired love is coming from. That's where it's coming from. Oh, Libras, I am so sorry. I, oof, I just didn't expect that card to be there. I mean, I really didn't expect that card to be there. So, I just want to tell you guys to make sure y'all share y'all true feelings if y'all really want to wait until y'all get married before you give some yourself to someone listen you're not alone i'm willing to wait for that as well i'm not i'm i mean good gracious i, I feel like everybody should be tired of that you give yourself to someone you think this relationship gonna work out 
you done gave yourself to them and then you spent all these years and now you got to let this person go. You turn around and give yourself to somebody else and then keep, I mean, who wants to keep living that pattern, that psycho? Like, no, no, I'm, I'm over it. So if that's what you value, you really want marriage before you have sex. You want to get married. Have faith. You know, you may have to separate from this person. For some of y'all, this person, it's not enough um, chemistry and attraction here. Just know, release that person. You don't want to align yourself with someone who doesn't share your same values. Someone who is not equally yoked to you. Oh, Father. I don't know, Lib Libras. So I hope this message really helps you all. I hope I can keep y'all encouraged to honor yourself and respect yourself. It's nothing wrong with you waiting to get married before you have sex. I'm here to support you all the way, 100%. I'm here for it. I'm backing you up all the way. Oof. So I hope this message really helps you. If it resonates with you, give the videos a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment. Um, hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button, okay? And share the videos because it can help out others. I love you, Libras. Y'all stay strong and hold on to your faith. I love you. Bye.